Okay, welcome back to... Oh, Middle Ground. I was like, wait, what's my podcast called? (laughs) Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, I'll just leave that in. Welcome to Middle Ground, episode two. Um, Today we are talking about trust. Trusting yourself the most. Because, like, even listening to me, like, I'm great. Yeah, I'll give you some cool advice. But, like, don't just blindly accept what I say and, like, run with it. It's like, girl or boy, or they, them, whatever the fuck you identify as, you got to think for yourself there, my dear. Like, (laughs) I'm simply presenting you with ideas to open um, your thought patterns up to something new, maybe. Something I think is helpful because it works for me. doesn't necessarily work for everyone. So, um, again, trust yourself. What does your body need? What does your body tell you that it wants? What does um, what does your mind want? What does the inner child want? What does the like? There's so many different aspects of ourselves. So first and foremost, diving in and understanding what they are, trying to identify them. You can give them a name if you need to. Um, but yeah, like it's just important to know yourself, know what you like, and then you can better trust yourself. So we're gonna talk today a little bit about. Um, just spirit. This is going to be a short episode again. I, I kind of like these short ones and I'm supposed to call my favorite aunt. <laughs> Not that I really have a favorite aunt. They're all my favorite, but I do have an aunt that's really kind of into all this shit too, which I absolutely love. Adrienne, shout out to you, my dear. And yeah, um, I'm going to talk to her soon. So I want to keep this kind of short and sweet, but we're going to talk about spirit um, is in you. God is you. You are God. We are it. They are us. And Um, yeah, trusting that because we've been living in a place of like where organized religion and government, when government and religion were hand in hand and all these other things, it's like they want you to think that the answers are outside of you so that you have to get your answers from them. Like I could very easily, trust me, I see some of the people that come to me for readings and the comments online and stuff like... I could um, I could use this, um, like people have a perspective about me and I could use that to my advantage. I could use that for evil type thing. You know what I mean? I could convince people that I have the answers and they don't have, they don't, you guys don't have access to the answers. Like you have to come to me. I am the only one who has the answers. And on top of that, you have to pay me for it. It's like that comes with a weird responsibility and people have exploited that for a very long time. And it's completely false. Trust me, because I was one of those people who was like, oh my God, I have to go to this psychic to get these answers. And I used to like weirdly heavily rely on them because I had no, I guess, self-trust, I guess, or self sense of self, um, which everybody goes through at some point in time. And then as soon as you start, you know, trusting yourself in little ways, it's almost like you want to test it out. Like, okay, I'm going to work with my guides and this is what you should do. It's like make it a little game. It's like, okay. I will trust you. I'll give you three days or I'll give you a week or I'll give you a month. However you feel works. Could be an hour. Um, Ask them to do something. Like what does a trust exercise look like to you? Um, You know, I'm going to only follow my intuition for two days straight and bring me something that excites me. And I will then trust that this is something that I can do moving forward. You know what I mean? Like little things. Um... And it, it begins to grow. It's like a muscle. Like you flex the muscle, you go to the gym, you work your muscles, they get bigger. The trust grows stronger um, because it's really just your intuition and you're just now, oh, there's this like navigation device inside of me. There's this message inside of me that I can either share, I can keep, I can ignore, I can push down, um, which you know then gets into our emotions, which is also emotion, just energy in motion, emotions. So like when we feel the sadness or we feel the anger or we feel the joy or we feel whatever not letting ourselves experience that like what no babe you need to experience that and you need to feel it like sadness you need to feel the sadness you need to understand the sadness that's when it's gonna click and then on the other side you'll have this like wow oh that was actually such a nice deep breath too i love a good deep breath i have like asthma and yeah Sometimes I can't take a deep breath. But anyways, enough about me. Um, Yeah, it's just this thing that you've got to trust and you've got to 
learn how to navigate it. And once you've got that, like, then you know, okay, how am I going to get my answer? I'm just going to, like, quiet myself. I'm going to feel it. I'm going to know it. I'm going to hear it. I'm going to find it. It will come. And you'll begin to learn how to still your mind. And stilling, stilling your mind. I don't know if that sounds right, but you know what I mean. When you still your mind, um, people think this about meditation too, that meditation is just this like nothingness. It's like meditation is not nothingness. Like you can do transcendental meditation where you get to like higher states of whatever, but like, no. Like meditation is simply thoughts coming through your mind and you not responding. It's like, oh, can't believe Josh did that. You don't need to be like, yeah, fuck Josh. Well, what the fuck? I guess I see it, but like, I don't know why he would still do that. He shouldn't have said that. Although, would I have maybe said that? Like, you have this conversation with yourself trying to work through that thought now. Don't, don't work through any thought. It's just, can't believe Josh did that. And then you're like, well, he just let it go. And then it passes through. You know what I mean? Uh, I need to go to the fucking store because I forgot X, Y, Z. It's like, okay. And it just passes through. You don't say, no, I'll go to the store later. I'm meditating now. And you start a conversation with yourself and then your head, and all of a sudden now you're sidetracked. It's like, so meditation in stilling your mind, these are easy ways for you to then create quiet. And when you can create quiet, and it doesn't need to necessarily be quiet in the atmosphere, like you can find quiet on a bus, on a busy bus taking transportation. You could find it with a child screaming. You can, you can find it in different ways at certain times when you need it. Um, however, quiet is just, it's an energy of stillness that allows you to then hear what you feel like you need to hear in that moment to then guide you, you know, down the path of least resistance. And then when you feel that or you hear that, you need to follow it. And that's when you need to trust yourself and say, okay, maybe this doesn't logically make sense to me, but I'm going to do it. And yeah, if I told my parents or I told someone else that, that was going to be my decision or whatever, like sometimes, you know, it's like I'm going to sell everything. I'm going to just follow this voice inside me and I want to set up this new life for myself. And everyone around you is like, what do you mean? Oh my God, you've been working at this job for so long. What about all your things? My mom was, I remember when I was going to move to Europe, my mom was like, what about your couch? I'm like, my what? She's like, what about your couch, Christopher? My couch, girl, like you're clearly a Virgo. She's like, what about your structure? Don't you need like nice furniture? Like, how are you going to make sure you have a comfortable home? And I have a Cancer moon, so I really do want a comfortable home. And the tarot card that I pulled today is also a four of wands, which is a comfortable home. So like, yeah, I really do love that. But I also am a Libra rising Gemini sun. So I'm mutable air, cardinal air. Cardinal is like, let's go. And my Cancer moon is also cardinal, which is also let's go. And my Gemini is a fucking child. It's the first air sign of the Zodiac. So it's like literally infant thoughts and ideas and perspectives and joy and adventure and like communication and learning and siblings and neighbors and all these beautiful things. And I really do feel that I am all of those beautiful things. Absolutely. <laughs> but like I am, yeah, I am such a Gemini Libra Cancer. And like here we are, boom. So I trust that. And I've seen other people trust that. And then when they do it and they get to this place of like, oh my God, now I'm on the other side of it and I'm glad I trusted because it is 10 times better over here. And I'm telling you because I lived it. I'm telling you because I'm sitting right now at the fucking Salvaterra country and spa house in fucking Portugal and it is like, I'm in a fucking jungle right now with a Turkish bath and a massage. Like this is just, yeah, girl, it's better on the other side. Trust me on that. And like, you gotta just fucking close your eyes and jump. And it's fucking terrifying and you can do it at any point in time. You don't need to be young and fresh and whatever the fuck you think you need to be. You can be fucking, I'm not even young and fresh anymore. I'm 31. It's like, oh, lordy lord, we're falling apart. <laughs> Kidding, but like, what is that about? Sometimes it's just like, my knee hurts. Like, good lord. So anyways, I'm just looking at my notes here. I got some tarot cards. Let me just take a sip of my decaf coffee. Sorry, this is, if you have water, take a sip of your water. Mm. You know what? I do love coffee. Mind you, I'm at a place and that's a Nest, Nest Cafe. That's a little plastic pod thing. I don't know about that. If you're using a plastic pod, get off my podcast. You know what I mean? Um, that's just like, I know it's not fishing nets and whatnot, but that is a terrible contribution to the plastic. Um 
debris in the world. So anyways, we're going to get off the plastic chat right now. However, you need to create this connection with trusting yourself, like I said, and we need to just begin and you need to know that it will work out. Like you have to know. That's what trust is. It's something you can't see that you have to just believe and you have to feel it in your body and feel it in your aura and feel it in your essence and your mind and your like you have to convince yourself you have to rewire your brain rewiring you can rewire your brain in a short period of time by simply um like going through a loop of these ideas a loop of this thought process a loop of this narrative just continue and you'll catch yourself maybe with a previous loop or a previous program you could call it because it's a program that is running in your mind Oh, money is hard. I am scared. I will always be broke. I will always be in a job that I hate, not make it. It's like, oh God, like you in that uh, is like, that brings your energy uh, down here. Even when you're talking about it, it's like, uh, it doesn't feel nice. You know what I mean? Like nobody right now feels great while I'm talking about how broke we are. It's like, no, like that doesn't feel great. So like what does feel great? Bitch, getting massage feels great. Having some fresh champagne feels great. Sitting in a fucking beautiful condo right now or whatever the fuck this is called cabana it's like you need to just already fake the part you need to go into gucci and look at what you want to buy and maybe you don't buy it but you don't say i'm not buying it because i can't afford this you're saying i'm not buying it because i want to come back later and buy it and that's all you have to say because it's true you do you want to go back later and buy it i did this like a couple times um over the past year just going into different places, different beautiful designer places and just picking up $1,200 shoes and being like, oh, can I try these on? Yeah, and then I try them on. And I put them, I'm like, oh, these are cute. What about these? I'm gonna try a few pairs on, really get into it. Go walk around a neighborhood with beautiful homes that you want. Like, get yourself in the energy of it. Believe it. Fake it till you make it because it's all based off energy. It's all, ba it's all based off of attraction. And like, if you literally are talking it, and living it, then the universe has no other fucking option but to deliver on it because you're matching the vibration and we live in a magnetic, you know, polarized experience. So it's like, yeah, just fucking think about it, my dear. And you will get there. I hate that I, sorry, now my other Gemini twins in here, I'm like, stop calling everyone my dear because it sounds very female driven, although it isn't, it's kind of like my love. Maybe I'll say my love. But the thought process here is like, I want more straight men to listen to this too, or even gay guys, but like, whatever. Maybe that's not my demographic. I accept what I'm given, you know? I'm open to receive. So yeah, you've got to create this connection with self. Um, play that little game with your guides if you can. I feel though there's an important, like, okay, 2020 was a shit show, right? For everyone shit show and it's still a shit show and um you know a lot of people are still going through a really hard time and there's a lot of anger right now there's a lot of anger in the collective energy feel that anger give yourself space to feel that anger do it in healthy ways throw ice cubes scream in a pillow take a bath and scream underwater like do what you got to do to get the anger out, write a letter and light it on fire. Just move the energy, move the emotion, right? And, and feel it, sit in it, experience it, but trust that you'll come out of the other side, which you will. And when you do, you'll come out in a different way. I have, true, I actually have the new moon in Scorpio was the Oracle card that I pulled. And it says, work through your fears. It's a Scorpio card. So Scorpio is fixed emotion. So we kind of talked about this earlier where emotion is literally energy in motion through the body. It's us literally feeling an energy. So um, the energy of fear, for example. I don't know if this will work out. I'm scared. I laughed so hard when this card fell out because today I'm talking about trust and it literally says work through your fears. And like fear, like we're taught fear. We're taught limiting beliefs. A child doesn't have limiting beliefs. You literally pick those up from someone or somewhere 
even subconsciously or consciously, but like that is just living in this program deep in your subconscious mind, which is also Scorpio energy. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is like not only death and decay like Scorpio, but Pluto takes it one step further. It's like when things start to compose and things start to rot and things start to get to the like, it turns to mold and then the mold turns to something else and it begins to like, it's like, like pulling it up. It will pull everything up because it has to. Because if you, don't, if you don't get the last little bit of the root in the bottom of the fucking barrel or wherever it is in our souls where these traumas or these ancestral traumas or these nightmares, heartbreaks, fears, these survival mentalities, where these survival instincts live... You need to pull them up. If you miss a part of it, it will come back. You cannot not feel it. You have to. You have to sit in it. You have to cry it out. You have to scream it out and get it out of your body because that is when like a Rubik's Cube and you'll feel it. You'll feel your breath change after. You'll feel potentially a release or a conscious shift not sure if you can like it took a while for me to really start understanding what it feels like but like I can now consciously when I'm like when I have shifted into a new consciousness I can I notice it so like you will after you dig all of that up and rip it all up these old programs you will then be able to release you'll feel that shift that conscious shift and then within a day or two you'll probably be just feeling lighter and better. So going through that, we then move into this four of wands, which is foundation. This is what I'm talking about. This is the new programs. So the new programs we now talk about are, I am worthy. I am worthy of being a fucking millionaire because I am a beautiful person who wants to do nice things for other people and I want to help others learn and provide and I want to be community driven and organized and I want to be inclusive and accessible and diverse and I want multiple people's opinions involved. I want to create a village where we make food and a, and a retreat space and an eco-friendly hotel space. Like these are things that I want to do personally and I am sitting in that understanding and belief system that I know it will happen because it literally will happen. It has to. That is the law of the universe. We attract what we feel. Misery loves company. Well, abundance loves generosity. And trust me, there's... Ugh. Yeah, you'll meet other people that are great in your loop or in your fucking ring or whatever you want to call it. But like, it's... Oh, this is going to sound kind of ugly. This is going to sound kind of ugly. I already hear it coming out, but I do want to just say it. Like, there is a reason it's called the 1% because only 1% of people really want to um, focus their attention and energy onto a specific task to manifest it into existence and then move through the next one. Like, only a certain, a very small amount, maybe it's bigger than 1%, but they call it the 1%. Like, those people work their ass off nonstop, t t directed towards their vision. Not all of them. Again, this is like there's a whole system of like oppression that is also built into the one percent, and you know, like the owners of fucking Walmart and all these terrible like Chick Fil A and all that shit. I'm sure they're up there too. That's not these are not the people I'm talking about. I'm not talking about dirty money. I'm not talking about dirty money. I'm talking about like real clean, honest money, and it's like. The resources, the equity, everything that you build as an individual, like you need to have in mind that this is going to be a generous system of some kind, that you're going to include other people and pay them fairly and share wealth and, and allow access and all these other things. But like in order to get there, there really is only like, you know, a small percentage of people that are willing to work on it day in and day out. And that includes working on themselves internally you have to do the work you cannot be doing only the external manifestation work but not doing the internal shifts that need to happen you have to remove these programs so that you can sustain and protect and preserve what you're building as well because if you are building all of this externally but the internal 
the shifts on an emotional maturity, on a self-understanding, self-reflection, self-control, like if that is not catching up or staying in line with what's manifesting on the outside, what's on the outside will consume you and you will go crazy and you will lose it. Or you will you will always have fears of losing it. You will fuck something up or you'll be making weird decisions based off scarcity mindset, based off this idea that you don't have enough and that we need to control this now because it's like, it's like that energy is not even protective. That energy is desperate, which attracts more situations to be desperate in. It's like if you really want to fall in love and you're just focusing on trying to meet someone or you want to make some money and you're focusing on how broke you are. You're going to be broke and heartbroken for a fucking minute. Like, no, no, no. You need to focus on how happy you are. You met someone that makes you feel however you need to feel. And don't get fixated. Again, you have to trust that you will find it. You have to trust that this will come to you because it does and it will. It may not come to you in the way you thought or in the form that you thought or when you thought, but like, it'll show up eventually. It'll carry the same vibration that makes you feel the sense of security, love, joy, financial independence, whatever it is. So when you're meditating, when you're manifesting these things, and you need to be doing this under a full, or sorry, under a new moon. If y'all are taking the fucking full moon workshop, but not taking the new moon workshop, like, I'm sorry, but are you okay, babe? Like, they're both pay what you can. Like, first of all, don't just listen to these podcasts or watch my fucking tarot readings so that you can like feed your ego and be like, I'm here doing self-work. Like you people actually act, uh, you people have to actually do the fucking work. And like, there are a bunch of you doing the fucking work and I'm fucking so proud of all of y'all. And like, I'm just so blessed that I can do this for, for like my, my job. Like this is my job now. It's so cool. Um, and any of you can also create whatever reality you want your job to be placed around. Cause like that is, a fact you can actually do that you do not need these systems these governments that like they can't do anything for us anyways that's what 2020 has showed us 2020 in hindsight clear vision now us all looking back just being like the government sucks government get your shit together like everyone every government everywhere the fucking fishing industry is out of just oh my god see spiracy on netflix wow wow you need to watch that like and trust me, I love sushi, but like, oh, this girl's like, she's got to change her fucking menu up. I need to be like at least 90% clean. You know what I mean? Like I do pretty well already, but I did have a fucking ham and cheese croissant this morning because I'm in a beautiful country home right now. So the anyways, um, it's crazy. You guys, the universe will arrange and rearrange things to match your new vibration. And that means you have to let go of your old vibration and everything that you manifested in that old vibration, which is why a lot of people are now feeling so confused and there's so much chaos, but there's so much potential in chaos. There's so much potential in your entire life falling apart because now you get to rebuild everything in a new way. So take the fucking opportunity and change something. You know what I mean? Like your external world matched your old vibration if you've been doing the work if you've been trying to change if you've been wanting better things in your life then the universe has seen that and has watched you do the work and now they're like okay well here we go we're gonna pick up the snow globe we're gonna shake it and then we're gonna put it back down and there's gonna be shit flying everywhere for a minute but it'll level out and then you'll have new Four of Wands foundation to be building something worth celebrating. Something that brings real foundation and structure. And a place like a gathering place, maybe. Maybe a place for people to to actually gather. Like a beautiful backyard space and it looks protected and it's creative and expressive. And maybe there's art or some people like... Some people might be feeling really called to express themselves artistically and that's great and i think um yeah is that where we wrap it up like what time is it where's my other well what time is it 303 hmm okay well maybe we stop there i think that's like 20 minutes ish um there's gonna be an email below in the show notes or on lol oh my god 
<laughs> ew. Sometimes you just catch yourself being so ugly and annoying. You're just like, ew, me being a podcaster, that is the ugliest thing ever. I'm just like, guys, there's a description or there's a fucking email down in the show notes. All right, Nance. Okay, you guys got a email down in the show notes there. If you guys want to throw in a topic or if you got any questions. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my assistant to literally watch that email and she's going to be like, oh, this is a cool topic or a cool question. So like send them off and either just put anonymous or put, um, your name. And if you want, you can put your sign and yeah, just ask a question, tell people about this podcast. It's great. It's easy to learn. It's short, sweet episodes. Um, and go take a fucking full moon workshop and make sure you take a new moon workshop because everything we talked about today, building trust, moving forward, those are all things that you want to plant the seeds of during a new moon. And then that also plants those new programs. Like we were talking about before, releasing the old programs and now living in a new program of, I am grateful that everything works out for me because I'm so financially independent. I have a wealth of health, resources, um, influence, and, you know, charitable donations and just whatever. It's just like live in the higher vibration. I swear to God. And buy yourself something cute. It doesn't even need to be expensive, but buy yourself something that feels fucking good because you fucking deserve it. Um, and yeah, I fucking love you. Okay, so... That is that. I will see you guys on Instagram. Go watch your April readings. Um, I might put up like April horoscopes on this thing too, on the podcast. So check that out. If it's not there, it's because I just got lazy and didn't do it. Okay. Love you.